hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today video we are going to understand very powerful tool called lsmw lsmw full form is legacy system migration workbench lsmw helps you to load the master data transactional data and configuration data in today video we are going to understand how to upload a configuration data you need to watch my video you will be ahead of your all the competitor if you know how to upload the data any kind of data from lsmw it is treated as one of the added advantage to your resume it will help you throughout your consulting career but but you need to know how to record, record the lsmw you need to know how to modify the lsmw let's say somebody has already recorded or you have recorded in that lsmw you want to modify any fields you want to add any field you want to delete any field you must know everybody knows 90 percent people know how to record the lsmw but they don't know how to change the lsmw okay you must know then third point you should also know how to move the lsmw from one system to another system from quality from development to quality okay maybe from quality to production system either via either via import and export functionality or from the workbench request you can also save your lsmw in the workbench so in today's session we are going to understand all this thing in this video so we'll take an example how to upload the configuration data and in today's session i have taken an example of fisd integration upload so you know that fisd integration happen in the t code called bkoa go to bkoa and <clears throat> i want to upload the data in this system okay i want to upload the data of the bkoa in mass label okay now let us record the lsmw to record the lsmw t code is lsmw give t code here lsmw hit enter sorry give lsmw hit enter okay give here your project name y apple this is my project name okay for learning purpose then give sub pro sub project name and give the object name okay click on create button click on create button give description here hit enter give description you can give any description hit enter give object and hit enter here you can write like FISD integration okay hit enter once you create this click on execute okay click on this button continue it brought you here okay now click on execute click on this one display and change click here we have here total four method first is a standard batch direct input second is batch input recording method then BAPI method then IDUC method step by step one by one we will learn every method today we are going to learn batch input recording method click on this one select here click on this button go to create click on this create button give here some name let's say ZBKOA okay and give same here also z bkoa give your bkoa t code that will take you to the sap screen come here double click on first one go to new entries give your application that is b give your condition type either kofi or kofak then give here your chart of account give your sales organization give your customer account assignment group that is dc give your material account assignment group that is la for mine and give your give your account key and give the gl okay in this recording i am capturing only 
first eight field I am recording. Last field I am not recording. What I will do once I record the LSMW later, I will teach you how to add any missing field in the LSMW. Now save it. Okay, save in this TR. Click OK. Come back, come back, come back. Now these many fields are recorded. Okay, these many fields are recorded. Scroll down and observe it. Okay, what you have to do? Click on default all. Click on default all. Observe here. Here description will automatically come the moment you click on default all. It came here. Now in the LSMW, if you want to default any field value, you don't remove. Otherwise, you can remove. So as you know that when you do the BKA mapping. If you do the BQA mapping, generally fold, first field we always keep B. We don't generally don't change it. So here also I want to keep first field B. Then second field generally sometimes we map with Kofi, sometimes we map with Kofak. Okay. So sometimes we map with this one, sometimes we map, map with this one. So you remove this one. Because in load file sometimes you may give Kofi, sometimes you may give Kofak. Okay. So remove it. Chart of account generally, if you are working for any client, there will be one operating chart of account. You can let it be same. Double click on this one and remove this one also. Double click this one because this value will be changed during the load time. Change this one also. Double click and change it. Change this one also. Okay. So these are the fields I am expecting that I may load with different cells organization with different GL. So I'm, I remove them and I can if I want to save in different different TR then I can double click here and I can remove this TR also remove it. Okay, then save it and come back. Okay, come back. Now click here and click in this drop down. Then this comes automatically save it and come back it automatically went to next step go to here object overview click on table whatever fields you have recorded it came here so copy those fields leave first two fields and copy from third field and come to here keep here okay you can re re remove this underscore one in case if you want to remove you can remove otherwise you can keep also there is no problem so give here underscore one okay and replace it blank value so underscore gone here put here c only c you put so for instead of character put c so now this file is ready almost now come back here execute it go to change mode Click on Kiriat. Give sub name here. Let's say ZBKOA. Okay. Or let's say YBKOA. Any name you give, not a problem. Save it. Come back. Okay. Once it is done, go to here. Go to change mode. Click on this one. Click cursor here. Click on this one and copy paste this field name copy here give this length hit enter so this technical field description automatically came here in case if you want to copy paste this description you can copy paste here also save it come back save it come back now click here display nothing just save it come back again execute okay go to change mode click here you click to here extract go to auto fill mapping and just either you select this one or you select this one no problem and hit enter enter okay 
once it comes here very important please listen here it is very important tick here click on this field name click on the source field and select the right field name from here let's say here k a p p l so select here k a p p l double click on this one once this done again select this field and click on rule click this transfer move and select this only if source field not initial so these two field you have to select and do it likewise you have to do for all the field okay click on source field select the kschl again keep your cursor here and click on rule select transfer move and select only if source field not initial likewise you do for all the field likewise click at last field that is tr click on source field select last field click on rule transfer move select and only if source field not initial select click here so likewise you finish all okay now save it and come back execute it no need to do anything here come back go to specify files go to change mode click on this one double click here specify the file here so you can remove this file for you nothing will come here okay now prepare a file so create one text file here and let us <coughs> prepare the file so this technical field name I have pasted in the this way and this is their description okay now fill here information application that is B same what is there in VKOA same fields are here same field fill here so give V then give second field that is copy give your chart of account APL 0 give your sales organization give your customer account assignment group that is your FC give material account assignment group this is LA or let me give IP this is for my project okay or my practice uh, information for you it may be different okay give your give your transaction key and give the GL so let me go and enter the GL slash n fs double zero let me select the gl so i am selecting this gl okay again fill let's say i'm going to load for kofak also and same information i'm going to load for kofak also likewise if if you have 20,000 30,000 records you can load at a time it will save your life okay otherwise if you start doing manually it will take months to complete it because I have seen there are some projects where GLs are 30,000 records are there to do the BKOA setting it is very difficult to do manually now give here TR number in which you want to save it so go and create one TR okay let me create one TR here go to customize request click here give here testing bkoa upload okay so this is the tr number copy this tr number and give here okay right now i'm going to load only two records you can load any number of records copy them and put in the upload file so lady there remove this one and save in the upload file okay now go to lsmw select the file so this is the file select tabular select this one this two and execute it okay 
then save it come back next execute it go to change mode save it come back execute it again execute allow two records okay come back again execute hit enter you can double click and view either informations are coming correct or not it looks okay okay now execute it again execute it come back display hit enter you can view it okay so in the first record is kofi second record should be kofak so it should pick properly in the second record it is coming k o f k okay now create batch make sure keep batch input folder it tick execute it run the batch execute it select first one and process it if you want to run in the foreground meaning that every step it will show in front of you if you have more record 20000 30000 record never ever select this one if you have one two record during testing time you can select this one and test how your lsmw recording is working display error if you select wherever error it is there it will stop and it will show you okay if you select background it will not show you it will just complete and if you want to know either it is successful or it is failed you have to go and check the log now i want to select the display error if any error is there it should show me here itself now click on extended log and export mode run it hit enter your job got over now go to bkoa first check in the tr either it got saved or not just go back give your tr number check it either it got saved in this tr the detail or not two records must be saved here go to here see two records are saved here now go and check in the bkoa also slash so, n bkoa slash so, n bkoa double click see this two record got saved here also copy and copak so in this way you can even upload your configuration data from the lsmw i hope you like the video please subscribe the channel you will always be ahead with all your competitor you will be learning new new thing in this channel only thank you please wait for next part of lsmw thanks a lot